Hey everyone, in this video I'd like to go over some of the changes that were made in Elden Ring's patch 1.05. Specifically, I'd like to go over a point which states, fixed a bug that prevented a critical hit from behind from hitting in hostile multiplayer. Now first off, I'd like to say that I find their word choice here a little bit odd, stating that they fixed a bug, when in reality I believe that they were just experimenting with some different parameters and values for backstabs, making them a little bit harder to get in this game compared to previous titles such as Dark Souls 3. And I believe this was, the, in fact, the right decision for Elden Ring, for reasons which I'll get into later on in the video. However, after patch 1.05, and what this specific bullet point is referring to, is the fact that they have now made backstabs easier to get in Elden Ring. And I believe this may have been a major mistake. From my understanding, the change that was made in this patch was increasing the angle at which a backstab can successfully land. So previously, up until this point, Backstabs had an angle of 60 degrees, so if the player turned more than 60 degrees after the other person had engaged a backstab attempt, then the backstab would fail. And now, they've increased this value from 60 to 120, so they doubled the angle which is permissible for a backstab to land. In other games, such as DS3, this value was set to 180 degrees, meaning that the other player could be facing directly towards you and the backstab would still engage, as long as they met some other criteria as well, such as their distance away from you. I like backstabs in Souls games, and I believe that they're an essential component that adds a lot of depth to the game by rewarding good spacing and reads in PvP. And if you don't believe that I like backstabs, you can go and have a look at some of my other videos which should confirm this for you. Up until this patch, backstabs have been near impossible to get in Elden Ring, and overall just weren't really viable. In fact, all the gameplay you've been seeing in the background of this video up until this point has been from prior to patch 1.05 and I believe does a good job of illustrating this. Now, patch 1.05 improves backstabs and makes them easier to get, right? So why would I say this could be a mistake? Let me explain. As I mentioned previously, I like backstabs because I feel that they reward good spacing and reads, and they allow you to punish your opponent's mistakes effectively. However, due to a larger underlying core mechanic in Elden Ring, I believe that From Software initially made the correct decision to have backstabs be much weaker, although some changes were definitely still needed. To name one, the failed backstab grab recovery animation was so long it was painful. Because this recovery animation is so long, accidentally getting a backstab grab would do more harm than good, with virtually no hope of actually getting the backstab. It's because of this underlying element that I believe backstabs cannot exist in a balanced way in Elden Ring, or at least not in the same capacity as they did in Dark Souls 3. And that underlying core element of the game is passive poise. Passive poise seems to be a very polarizing subject, kind of like Dark Souls 2 for example, with some players absolutely loving the game, and others not into it at all. For me personally, I would prefer a game with hyper armor on weapons, and no passive poise. So what exactly do I think the issue is of having improved backstabs that function closer to the way that they did in Dark Souls 3, in combination with passive poise? Well, let's take a look at some clips and break them down so I can show you exactly what my concerns are for Elden Ring's PvP moving forward. My main concern actually stems from the very thing that I said I like about backstabs, the fact that they reward good spacing and reads on your opponent. With passive poise, I believe that it destroys this relationship, and it instead rewards a brute force approach of tanking hits and out trading your opponent. And this is actually my issue with passive poise overall. From a backstab standpoint, if you're stacking enough poise, you can simply charge at your opponent, and as soon as they attack, you can just tank the hit and backstab them, without any careful consideration for spacing, or reads on your opponent for what attack they might do next. Here's an example of me sprinting directly towards somebody without a care in the world, tanking a two-handed hunger hit to the face before punishing it with a backstab. What about some Ashes of War? How about Flaming Strike? Let's just sprint right through that and backstab it as well. Okay, what about Storm Stomp? Well, with enough poise, that's not an issue either. Finally, let's have a look at a clip from somebody else's perspective, which I think does a good job of showing the immense amount of pressure you can put on somebody by stacking this much poise and staying aggressive. Hello. Seriously, I don't know this guy. I'm not going to go Great Sword this time. I'll just go uh, Willow Knights since you're probably going to be very chunky. Oh, good ass backstab. Gotta appreciate the backstabs. Very well. oh, oh my god. That storm stop got me spooked, bro. <laughs> got me scared as shit. Ah. Oh, whoops. 
gotta react this kid. Oh my god. He wants me, bro. Whew. Oh, good fight. Good fight. Baiting out them backstabs. Nice. I hope I get you again. That guy is definitely a Dark Souls 3 cult like a veteran. Oh, this is gonna be rough. This guy's a counter boy. I did. I didn't stun him at all. Holy poise, dude. Oh, right. I remember you. Woo, I gotta watch out. This man's insane with his backstabs. <laughs> He's actually kind of good with his backstabs. <laughs> i give it to him. He's kind of good. Oh. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> what is happening? Oh. He's going for the backstabs, bro. He wants one so bad. Oh, wow. That actually combos into two. That's kind of plus. Wait, did I, was I not able to dodge? That was strange. Good fight. He is also one of the guys I've gone against like 30 times today. So I might have to, uh, might have to hit you with the block. Spice it up a little bit. Getting invasions from the same people. Very good player, though. After seeing this, you might be wondering, could they just remove passive poise in a future update for PvP? Well, I'm doubtful, as it seems to be such a large part of the game, with many spells and attacks, that have seemingly been designed with at least some passive poise in mind. And I wanted to make this video to hopefully clear up some confusion, as I got many questions from people asking, why couldn't they just use the same backstabs that they did in Dark Souls 3? That system seemed to work great, right? So why did they choose to change them? And I hope this gives a little bit of insight and hopefully clears some things up about why From Software most likely decided to make backstabs weaker in Elden Ring. For anyone who's interested, here are the stats on the build that I was using for all the clips after patch 1.05. So did they really go too far with this update by improving backstabs? Well, I think it's a bit too early to say, but I hope this video clears up why, in my opinion, backstabs can never be the same as they were in Dark Souls 3, at least not for as long as passive poise exists. With that being said, I hope you got something out of this video, and I'd like to hear all of your opinions on passive poise. Do you like it? Why or why not? Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.